Isaiah chapter 35, Habakkuk, the 35th book of the Bible, looking at the millennium. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them. Wilderness is not a pleasing place. Realize in the wilderness journey, God had to provide the rock with water for Israel. God had to provide the manna. I mean, you think about it. They were griping and complaining for food. And the wilderness has no food. Solitary place, alone. No one wants to be alone. And the desert, hot, dry place, shall rejoice and blossom as a rose. Now, they they take that verse there, and artificial irrigation and man doing this and man doing that. This is without man. This is the Lord Jesus Christ. You realize your artificial irrigation that's going on today, it's going to dry up, it's going to burn up during the tribulation period. The water is going to turn to blood. And the sun is going to get, I mean, it ain't going to last, my man. You wait till Jesus Christ comes and he takes that curse off the earth. Millennium. It shall blossom abundantly. Not just blossom, abundantly. And rejoice the desert. Even with joy and singing, the glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it. The excellency of Carmel, that's a mountain, and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital, that's Jehovah. That's also Jesus, the second coming, Jesus Christ. And it, it's too bad for a Jehovah Witness that they're not going to get that glorification of Jesus Christ, who is God, because to them, Jesus Christ is not God. And the excellency of our God. Strengthen ye the weak hands and comfort the feeble knee. Weep with those that weep. Strengthen, build up. Now, in the midst of, of, of the millennial passage, we have verse 4, we have tribulation. I mean, excuse me, take that out. We have the second advent. All right, second advent. In the midst of the millennial kingdom passage. We got the second advent. We're going to re go back in time a little bit. Say unto them that are fear, full in heart. Be strong. And that's what Israel's going to be, man. They're going to be full of fear if it's a preacher or that place that God has prepared for them. Man, they're going to be, is the Antichrist coming? And when's the Lord going to come? And going to be like David in Psalms. Oh, Lord, hear me. Oh, Lord, hear us. Lord, you... <laughs> You answering our prayer, Lord God, we're, the enemy's coming, Lord. Be strong, fear not, famous words of Jesus. Behold, your God will come. Revelation 19, Jesus Christ will come, King of kings, Lord of lords, but if you're Jehovah Witness. And it's funny because the Jehovah Witnesses think they're the 144,000 uh of each of the tribes minus Dan and Ephraim. And Jesus is not God. The Jehovah Witness God ain't coming for them. The Jehovah Witness God, Jesus is not God, is a made up false of Satan himself. Because Jesus is God and Jesus is coming. With vengeance. Second Advent is vengeance. The lion, the tribe of Judah, anger. Revelation 19. Even God with recompense, he will come and save you. You get that right there? Save you. What does Jesus mean? It means Jehovah saves. You can just take the Jehovah Witnesses, crumple them up, and throw them in the garbage can. Because the scriptures say to the Jehovah Witness, <laughs> and you can spell that if you know how to spell it. All right? Millennium, 
Second advent. First advent, verses five and half through six. Well, they see Calvary. <laughs> Look at chapter 35. We see the millennium. We see the second advent. Now we're back into the first advent. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. It's throughout the Gospels. The ears of the deaf shall be stopped, unstopped. That's throughout the Gospels. Then shall the lame man leap as a heart. That's throughout the Gospels. And the book of Acts with Peter and John, that man with his ankle. And the tongue of the dumb shall sing through the gospel. All right? We're back to the millennium, to the rest of the chapter. Don't you see when you look, don't you see when they look at these scriptures? They didn't see Calvary. They're like, <laughs> sometimes, you got, we're looking at the book of Isaiah. Sometimes Isaiah be like, You sure you want you to write that? Okay, God. How come they say that they saw Calvary, and there's many places in the scriptures, I, I don't know what they're talking about. Wait till we get to Zechariah. Whoa, I don't know. So we're back to the millennium, in Isaiah 35, verse 6, when we've been talking about the first advent. For in the wilderness shall waters break out in streams in the desert. Now, did that happen the first advent? No. The parched ground shall become a pool. Now, today they take that as the artificial irrigation, artificial. No, this is not man-made. This is God, Jesus Christ, the creator that is going to renew the world, the earth, without the curse going to regenerate before the thousand years is up and then it's just going to get all burned up for the fervent heat. The thirsty land springs of water. That's this is the, the desert. In the habitation of dragons, I believe those are the little lizards, reptiles, but I think they're reptiles, for each leg, where each leg Dragons and lizards, they're out in the desert. Shall be grass in the desert. And reeds and rushes, plants. Not just here, there, and there. Not here, there, over there, there. Everywhere. And a highway. Without automobiles. I don't think there's going to be automobiles in the millennium. Thank God. A highway. Not a Broadway. A highway. You know, the Bible says Joshua went along the king's highway. That king's highway is going for the king of kings and lord of lords. Not a Broadway. Broadway leads to destruction. A highway shall be there. And away, and shall be called the way of holy. The way, the way. Jesus, I'm the way. And Jesus, is holy. The way of holiness. That's the way to Jesus. And the throne in Jerusalem. The unclean shall not pass over it. I like that. No defiled. But it shall be for those, the wayfaring man. Though fools shall not err therein. It's a way of knowing God's a way. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And those that reject God and those that will reject Jesus won't walk this highway. The Bible says about Gentiles, they're going to grab hold of the Jew and say, we're going to go with you because... Your God, Jesus, knows everything. That's where you get, you're the salt of the earth. You're a light on a hilltop. That's in Matthew. That's not the church age. That's what Israel and Judah was supposed to be, but they failed. They will be in the, in the millennium. 
No lion shall be there. Though there'll be lions in the millennium. There's a spot down the road, the highway. There'll be lions. And they're at peace. I mean, they're laying with sheep. No lion shall be there, nor any rabbless beast. The curse is removed. There is no rabbit's beast at all. Shall go up, up, shall go up thereon. It shall not be found there. But the redeemed shall walk there. Israel's redeemed. The nations that are put in the millennium are redeemed. Christians are redeemed by the blood. Now remember the, the curse is removed, the lion shall eat straw like an ox. There's no fear of being eaten by a lion. But the lion is not allowed there. The Bible says that the devil is a, our adversary is a roaring lion. If that's the case, he's in he's locked up for a thousand years. Rabbit's beast. There's two beasts in, in the tribulation period coming out of the Mediterranean Sea. The Antichrist and the false prophet. See the lions and the beasts? The devil's bound for a thousand years. The, the false prophet and the Antichrist, the other beasts, they're put into the lake of fire that burns it forever. The Jews won't need to fear the devil. They won't need to fear the Antichrist and the false prophet. God's taking care of them. And the ransom of the Lord shall return Israel and come to Zion, Jerusalem, the capital of Israel, the capital where Jesus Christ will sit, King of kings, Lord of lords, upon David's throne with song and everlasting joy upon their heads. That's what the feasts were to be. Israel was to be glorious, happy, wonderful, and singing in gold to the glory and majesty of God. They're not doing that today. And they are doing any singing. It's for the world, and it's for self, and it's stupidity and entertainment. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sign shall flee away. That's the millennium. 